Hey everyone, welcome to another limited color palette video. So this is the sketch that I'm going to color today. I drew this sketch for another YouTube video that I published earlier, which is on drawing with really thin lines. Now to check out that video, just visit the link in the video description below. Okay, let me show you the reference photo first. This is a museum. So we have blue, we have green, we have something that is close to black. We have this creamy yellow, we have red, and we have this warmer creamy yellow. And the sun is coming from this direction. So there's not a lot of shadows. You can see the shadow here and here, and there's a red here as well. The main colors I'll be using today are buff titanium, Hansai yellow medium, Pyro Scarlet and French Ultramarine. Let's wet the colors first so that they are easier to pick up. First thing I want to do is to wet the sky. I'm using this Da Vinci Cassano brush to do that. Let me go over the leaves as well. Alright, for the sky I'm going to be using Ultramarine and a little bit of Cerulean Blue just to get that little extra variation going okay this sketchbook that I'm using this is the Hanamule watercolor sketchbook so let me pick up the excess water here next up I'm going to use buff titanium I'm using this straight from the pen now this color it looks like it's not that transparent so I may need to dilute this even more just to make it more transparent. This is the first time I'm using buff titanium for coloring. Maybe I'll mix in a little bit of Hansai yellow. Maybe a little bit of pyro scarlet as well. And I want to drop that pyro scarlet somewhere here just to give this wash some variation. For the ground, I'm going to be using Hansa Yellow Medium, Ultramarine, and Pyro Scarlet. Now because this is not suitable for mixing, I have to use this small little plastic palette. So I'm going to mix my paint bit by bit. All right, let me try this color. Maybe I need a little bit more blue, a little bit more ultramarine to it. I want to use this wash to color this area as well. And maybe the branches at the top. Next, I want to use Ultramarine and Hansa Yellow Medium to paint the leaves. I also want to paint this dome here. I'm going to dab in a little bit more Ultramarine to get that variation. There are some really dark greens here as well, so let me paint them with Hansa Yellow and Ultramarine. And now I'm going to color the warmer parts of the building with Hansa Yellow and Pyro Scarlet. And for that I will be using a smaller brush. I don't want to use the big brush because the big brush is going to soak up a lot of paint and a lot of paint is going to be wasted. So a small brush is better. Basically I just need to paint around the windows. So this is a mix of Hansa Yellow Medium and Pyro Scarlet. I may want to add a bit more water to it to make it less saturated because it's just a hint of some colors. When the wash is still wet here, I'm going to dab in some Pyro Scarlet. This is very delicate work, which is why using such a small brush is more appropriate. I need to color this lamppost as well. 
I'm actually using this wash that I have created earlier. And for this person here, I'm going to add a little bit of ultramarine to it. Next, we'll paint the red. There are only two reds in this sketch. That's the roof and this um, structure here. So I'm going to have that red here and here. This rectangle is white, so I shall leave that white. Next, we'll color the leaves again. So this time around, I have mixed a concentrated wash of Hansai Yellow Medium and Ultramarine. To make the leaves darker, I can add Pyro Scarlet to it, which I'm going to do so right now. So you see some of the leaves, they are red. I need to mix them a bit more completely to get the, to get the red out of the way. And now let's mix some shadows. So for the shadows, once again, I'll be using the three colors. I'll be using Hansa Yellow Medium, Ultramarine, it's going to turn green, and I'm going to use Pyro Scarlet. And it turns red. So let me add a little bit more Ultramarine. I have a scrap piece of paper here to test out my color. So let me add a little bit more Ultramarine and see how it looks. I think I prefer the shadows to be a bit cooler. So I'm going to add a little bit more ultramarine to it. With this shadow color, I'm going to color all the gray bits. This is the shadow cast by this building on the side of the wall here. This window here. This part is supposed to be black. Let me just color it right now and overlay it with black later on. Some shadows beneath this area here. A bit too much actually. I just need a tiny little line across. For the side of the statue, I'm going to dilute the wash. So let me just paint this side and here. While this is still wet, I'm going to soften the. I'm going to try and soften the hard edge here with clean water. There's a little bit of blue here. For the windows, some of them need shadows as well. The steps have to be a bit darker. And now let's paint the shadows for the tree, which is going here. For the statue, which is going here. And the shadow that's cast by this red structure. I think this may need to be a bit darker as well. I'm now basically touching up the tiny areas with black. This is black here. And we have some leaves here as well. Bottom of the branches is supposed to be very dark, so I'm going to color that. Let me use clean water to fade off the hard edge. I shall stop here. I don't want to overwork this piece because the line art already has a lot of details. If I continue to add even more colors, it's going to make this even more dense, more complicated than it already is. Let's take a closer look at the sketch. I like buff titanium. It's a very convenient color for painting those creamy textures, creamy colors like walls or the beach. So for the yellow parts, it's Hansa Yellow with a little bit of Pyro Scarlet.
For the shadows, it's a mixture of the three colors, Hansa Yellow Medium, Paris Scarlet, and French Ultramarine. So I let some of the colors mix on the paper rather than mixing them completely in the palette. This would create um, interesting color transitions like this. So this is the wash that is a bit cooler compared to the color on the ground, which is a bit warmer. This is the statue. Here's a closer look at the red structure, which I did not draw very accurately. Can you see this line that goes down right in the middle? This line is actually this line from the corner of this building. I shouldn't have drawn that. I should have left this empty so that the red structure can appear in front of the building. But I've forgotten about the thing while I was drawing. I lost concentration. And notice for the windows, some of the windows I dotted them with the black paint like this, but some I left them white like this. I did not paint over them. If I were to do this for all the windows here, it's going to look a bit too busy, too much details. If you look at the actual photos, you can definitely see those tiny squares of high contrast of dark shades. And now for the finishing touch, I'm going to add some letters onto this structure. And I'm going to write some letters here with red ink. And that's all for today's video. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. If you want to check out more videos on the limited color palette, you can visit the YouTube playlist in the video description. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.